Welcome to the Mustard Seed Media video podcast. My name is Bob, and this is the podcast for Drupal web designers. Welcome, welcome. Today we're going to talk about a little feature that uh, a lot of site owners would like, uh, and it's not quite as easy to implement as you might think, and it's what I'm calling hero images. Uh, and rather than talk a lot about what they are, let's take a look at an example. This is a site uh, we built and maintain. Uh, called Sojo.net, Sojourners Magazine. And you can see at the top here, it's got kind of a popular layout where you have this really large image uh, at the top, which is specific to the node or the content that you're working on. And a lot of times you'll have a title or a subtitle or something overlaid. And then you have the actual node content sort of down beneath it. Um, and, uh, and here's the thing to notice about this, why it's not as simple to implement something like this as you might think. Uh, the actual hero image you'll notice is, uh, is full width of the page. Uh, you'll notice that uh, the title and stuff are laid over top and it's right up against the, the top edge um, of your content region. And then if you look down here, you'll notice the actual node content is actually confined uh, to a much smaller space. And the way we're gonna achieve this is that this uh, top hero image is actually a block. It is not part of the node. Uh, but the trick is we want the uh, manager of the site, the person who creates the article, to be able to upload this image on the node uh, and have it appear in this hero section uh, that's on top. So let's look at how to build something like this. Uh, and I'll give you a hint. This is actually going to be a view. Uh, and this is very similar to something we did in the last podcast. Uh, but let's look at our setup first. We just have a standard article content type. And uh, in this very simple example, I've just added a field called hero image. It's a regular image field. Uh, but the thing to notice is that when you look at the actual display for this content, I've hidden or I've uh, disabled the hero image from displaying. Uh, so if we look at this and we look at some content uh, with hero images, you'll see that as of right now, the hero image appears nowhere in here. Uh, so all we do is we have the body and we have the title. But if we look at the piece of content itself, you'll see that we have a hero image uh, displayed in here. So let's go ahead and we're going to create a view. And that view is going to generate a block that we can stick anywhere. But we're going to stick it in our featured region. And that way you can make it full width. You can do all kinds of stuff with it that you couldn't normally do in terms of layout if it was in the node itself. Uh, so let's go ahead and build this view. It's going to be a pretty simple view. And so I'm just going to call it hero. And uh, I'm going to leave it for all content types, but I am going to generate a block. And I'm going to get rid of the title because I'm not going to want a title to display. Uh, I'm going to show a list of, of titles for now, and I'm just going to display one item. And the, one, uh, the, the fields that are going to be in this are going to be the content title. I'm going to modify this a little bit uh, because I actually want this to be our page title. Uh, so I'm going to customize the field HTML and actually make it an H1, so it has proper markup. And then uh, I'm also going to add the hero image. So let's add the hero image to that as well. I already have an image style uh, created called hero. And I'm going to just uh, leave everything else as is. Uh, I'm going to drop the hero uh, above the title, or put the hero above the title. Now, uh, a couple of key things here. Uh, usually when you do this, if you have people working on the site before they publish content, you're going to want them to be able to see the hero even if the content isn't published. So I'm going to remove the publishing status criteria. But I am going to add uh, a criteria, a filter, that basically ensures that there's a hero image uh, that's uploaded to the node. Because a lot of times we'll want different displays. So if they upload a hero image, we want the hero display. If they don't upload the hero image, we want a different display. So I'm going to uh, make sure that the hero image exists by filtering and making sure that we have a target ID. That's the, the file ID. And we're going to make sure that's not empty. So that's going to mean that there's a hero image uploaded to that content. The sort doesn't really matter because we only have one hero image on there. Uh, let's name our block. And now here comes the kicker that we've seen previously uh, in some podcasts. We're going to use arguments to make sure we're displaying the right hero on the right article. And we're going to simply do that by adding a contextual filter for node ID. Uh, you can look back at previous podcasts over at mustardseedmedia.com slash podcast uh, and look for one about views arguments. Uh, and what we're really going to do, and you can see this example in the last podcast I did too about views relationships is we're going to grab the, the ID from the URL. So we're going to grab the node ID of the article that we're on, and we're going to match it to uh, the article uh, that we want displayed in the content, or I'm sorry, in the view. Uh, so this hero image will be the same 
uh, from the article uh, of the node ID that we get from the URL. So it's a way to uh, create blocks and display uh, fields from the node that we're actually viewing. Uh, again, go back and watch the last podcast on relationships to see a different example of this. Uh, something new in Drupal 8, it took me forever to find, uh, we actually want to hide the block if there's no result. This didn't exist in Drupal 7, it just hit it by default. Now we actually have to check it uh, to do that. Uh, so we should be all set here. We've got our hero image that's going to display. We've got our title. Uh, and uh, we've used the arguments to choose the proper node ID to display the proper uh, block. So now let's go under structure and let's place our block into the featured region. We're going to go into featured top, place block, find our hero block we just created, and we're going to place that block. I'm going to confine it to article content types. Uh, I'm not going to display a title, and I'm going to save the block. So now if we go look at our content and we look at one of these sample posts with a, a hero image, you'll see, good deal. We've got our hero image up top in the featured region. We've got our title here. We could add a subtitle. We could theme all this. We could theme this to be full width. Um, this is not constrained within the width of the, uh, the node. I simply sized it the same, uh, my image size. Uh, so you could make this full width. You could do whatever you want. Um, gives you lots of freedom of how you, how you put this hero image, how you theme it, everything like that. I see one major problem, though, and let's look at this. We now have our title up here, but we actually wanted to replace this title. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of work to see if this block exists, and if so, get rid of our title. little caveat here. <laughs> this took me forever to figure out how to do because it's Drupal 8. Uh, in my opinion, Drupal 8 isn't really ready to be used, and it probably won't be for maybe the next year or so. Uh, one, because we really have to learn how to do some of these things uh, with best practice. But two, it just seems it's a little clunkier, and we're going to have to find better ways to do some of the stuff we did in Drupal 7. Um, but uh, that being said, let's look at how we're going to do this. So this, uh, in Drupal 8, the page title is now a block. In Drupal 7, this was very uh, very easy to get rid of in pre-process page. Uh, we could set the variable based on whether um, the node had uh, the hero image field or not, and then hide or show this block. It's a lot harder in Drupal uh, 8 to do this. Let me show you how I did it. It's probably wrong, but I'm going to show you anyway. So in a custom module here, I used hook. Uh, block view alter. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to alter this page title block. So the first thing I did is got the block ID and I'm just checking to make sure it's actually the page title block. Uh, then we have to get the node. Uh, this actually is kind of a nice little piece of code right here. Uh, it, it'll give you the actual node object for any node that you're actually on. So then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say if we're on a node, so if node exists, and then if the, the field exists, so basically I'm going to do a node and then I'm going to use get to find the, the actual field and make sure it has a value. And so if it, there is no value, if there is no uh, image field uploaded into this field right here, then this will return false. So now this is the part I know is wrong, but I could not figure out how the heck to do it in Drupal 8. So uh, if you want to chime in and let me know, that would be uh, very cool. But uh, for right now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to set the build uh, to a blank array, basically getting rid of the block. Um, and so if I save that, and then I go ahead and I clear my caches, uh, what's going to happen now is you're going to see that if uh, this hero block exists, uh, which really it's checking if the hero field exists, then it's going to hide and get rid of this title. So let's refresh, and hopefully it worked. And it did. Excellent. So now our title's gone, and we've moved it up here. So now you should be able to see if we then get rid of this field, our uh, display goes back to normal. And you can see we now have no uh, hero display, and we have our page title back. So hopefully that's a cool little process that you can use to set hero images. Keep in mind this can be used for anything. Uh, hero images are a good example of this, uh, but this idea of taking your, your fields in your node, hiding them on the normal node display, and then using views to build a block using the argument of the node ID you're viewing, and then you can stick that block wherever you want, and it gives you great flexibility for where you put your fields because you can put them in different regions, you can do all kinds of stuff with them. You're not limited by displaying them within the node itself. So uh, hopefully that helps you out. Uh, this is episode 59, so you can leave comments over at mustardseedmedia.com uh, slash podcast slash episode 59. Uh, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. You can find us over there. We'll always announce when new videos are released uh, on Facebook and Twitter. And until next time, we'll see you on the Mustard Seed Media video podcast. <laughs>